Welcome back students in this second episode of Minimum Spanning Tree. So as I told you in the very first episode which was just an introduction in tuition and the motivation behind the Minimum Spanning Tree. In this episode we will just delve briefly into the history of this uh, algorithm. And secondly, we'll see major two algorithms that is Prims and Kuskal and see in theory, in theory, like on pen and paper, that how these algorithms help us in making a minimum spanning tree from a given graph. We'll definitely uh, individually take, that, take, take these algorithms, analyze their time and space complexity and how they are written in various and also have a pseudocode for it. But as of now, we'll just say that how they help in making an MST from a graph okay and we'll take uh, undirected weighted graph so let's begin so first of all the paradigm uh, both of uh, all the three algorithm which we are going to discuss here they operate on a paradigm of programming called greedy approach so it looks very fancy that don't know what will be there in greedy approach but it's very very simple what is what it does is that it makes a choice so any algorithm based upon greedy paradigm makes a choice that looks best at the moment thinking that this choice in every state which is it's making best possible choice ultimately it will lead to a globally optimal solution now in some cases it may or it may not but this is what greedy paradigm is but when we apply this greedy uh, algorithm in making a minimum spanning tree it works right so the point you want to uh, underline the big takeaway is that that uh, minimum in building a minimum spanning tree we use a greedy approach and just an example of a greedy approach could be for example when you are undecided about your career right maybe in class 9th or in 10th what do what you what you decide you decide that you will do best possible in every class for example in 10th or in high school you try to get best possible marks then you want you try to get, get into a best possible university right and there are so on and so forth right so that's something what we do in greedy uh, approach and i'll explain you uh, very uh, in detail how we implement that greedy paradigm in case of both of these algorithms spring and in both all the three algorithms so let's start with a brief history. So when did this uh, minimum spanning tree algorithm originated? So it has the origin in one of the problems we discussed in episode one. So a gentleman named, uh, I, I don't know how to pronounce his name, uh, maybe Boruka. So he was a mathematician and his job was to uh, efficiently uh, come up with an algorithm in efficiently laying the electrical wiring between the cities in Czech Republic. It was during the time of, I think, World War One, And I think he subsequently published his paper in 1925. But yes, the, the, the main motive behind was that to, uh, to, to, I mean, like, to how to optimally optimize that solution so that uh, he could lay the, that that company for which he was working could most efficiently lay the electrical wiring, could, could connect the various and villages and problem that was discussed in quite detail in episode one you can go through that now what happened uh, well he was not a computer scientist he was a mathematician so for long this algorithm was uh, was then unheard of nobody uh, cared about it then when your computer science field when it took off then uh, two people uh, prim and jarnik Again, you know, came up with the, this algorithm for minimum spanning tree. Although the algorithm was different, but yes, it was used to calculate the minimum spanning tree. And both uh, Boruka's algorithm and Prim's Jarni. Again, it was based upon greedy approach. Then later on, uh, Kruskal, he came also with another minimum spanning al algorithm. And again, it was also based upon greedy approach. They, all the three have a polynomial runtime. So... It's a, it's a great area of research in computer science to get a linear, um, I mean like a linear runtime for this algorithm. So you can do the research there if you want. Anyways, now let's see that how these algorithms, what these algorithms are basically and how they help us making a minimum spanning tree out of a graph. 